So, Waysiders, here we are. I'm gonna put some fins on this board. I took a fin, I drew round it, and I'm using this bit of foam, six mil thick, which is about the right size for your fins. For anyone out there, this is your first time visiting the Waysider. I'll leave a card for the first video up in the top right corner. Click on that card and you can start from video one if you're interested. Cut yourself three templates out of your phone. You can buy this phone in a DIY shop store. These are gonna be carbon fiber. You can use glass matting as well, uh, either way. Get yourself a little bit of foam, a little bit of 400 grit I've got here. You could go slightly thicker, maybe 320 grit with your finger and a pen. Draw yourself a line around the fin. Just inside, you know, I've gone about a centimeter in. Nice flat surface. And this one's the middle one, so I've drawn a line around the middle. Get your block, take it at an angle. Use your, use your surface as a bit of a, an angle blocker. Just lay it on that. I've, I've got my wooden chopping board here, so it doesn't matter if I sand this, because it'll make it look better, won't it? That'll give you a nice sort of way to start getting a nice chamfer and then start to shave round. It doesn't take a lot. You kind of keep it, keep it going round the fin, so like the front edge here. Nice sort of long strokes. If you don't have a board, you know, the, the, the foam's all floppy. So as you're trying to sand, it's going to be bending. So you're going to sand it unevenly, basically. So if you keep it at an angle, start to go round the fin slowly. You're looking for that equal sort of chamfer all the way round. Okay, once you've got this edge here, you can see your line that you've created. I know where I want to be, which is my black line. So once I get to halfway, start to move your block up to a new angle and take away that line. Keep, try and keep the angle the same. Once you start to, to take away the second line, you'll end up with a third line. Until you get to the inner line that you've drawn, it should have a nice, nice sharpish line round. Take that line away and keep going until you get to the middle, each side, all right? This foam is really quite easy to work with. Just keep an eye on it. Make sure we're not going too far into the middle. Once I've got that roughly the first line sanded round, I'll flip it, do the same on this side, okay? That's step one, guys. So, Waysiders, hit that like button because that really helps the channel and uh, the algorithm for, for YouTube. And uh, we'll start with the glassing on the flat side first. Finished the uh, the fins, obviously both sides. Cobweb action going on here. Been cobwebbed straight away. Now to get to quickly the measurements for you. There's a lot of videos on YouTube anyway. I did basically eight and a half centimeters from the back of the board to the back of the first fin. And for those of you in Imperial, that's about three and a half inches. And then from the back of the board again to where the top of the middle fins go. I've got 41 and a half centimetres, or 16 inches, roughly. And then we've got, from the middle line to the top of the fin, we've got 14 and a half centimetres, or six inches. 15 and a half centimetres to the back of the middle fins, or about six and a quarter inches. I hope that makes sense. If not, rewind the video, have a look again. But do it, mark it all with a ruler, uh, set square, get it all perfect. And obviously look up, look up a few other designs of fins because it's important where you place your fins depending on the size of your board and etc. and how many fins you're going for. And then you've got the angle which toes out. So I just got a bit of foam, it's about nine degrees, but I nicked it off of my board already. So a nice square flat edge 
and then the nine degree angle and then you put them on and then basically a bit of uh, this sort of like a neoprene contact adhesive. This is clear and it's for polystyrene or you could use a few drops of super glue. They're, they're strong enough to give you the placement so you can actually, you know, look down the board, take a step back, make sure you're looking good, all right? So that was all done on masking tape because I've got a black board. If you've got a white board, obviously you can probably you just use your pencil lightly onto the, onto the resin. So now we can take off the masking. I was waiting to do the video just to be able to pull, peel this off. I'll get these all unmasked here. I'll be back once I've got my resin mixed and we'll put these fins on. All right, guys, we're back. Got me woven rovings here. Basically just deconstructed some uh, carbon matting to sort of the right lengths. Any stragglers, I'm just gonna start laying those in. I'm not gonna dip them. I'm just gonna use a brush. I've taped round the fins just to give me some, some kind of a barrier so I'm not getting too, too happy with the resin. Scratched up the surface with 180 grit paper. I'll try and keep it as neat as I can here. Get a bit of resin going. All right, guys, so there you go. I'll probably trim these a little bit less because I want them to be nice and easy to shape after. I don't want too much excess. So there you go. I'll be back. I'll show you the finished uh, result. <laughs> 